Just four months after a 16-month-old baby girl Changin was abused to death by her adopted parents, another fatal child abuse case has occurred. On February 8th in Yongin, south of Seoul, a 10-year-old girl was found unconscious in a bathtub at her aunt's house. The girl was transported to a hospital right away but was pronounced dead of secondary shock. What led to her death? The aunt and her husband had said that their life and niece fell into the tub when they called 911, but doctors found bruises all over her body. After her death was reported to police as a suspected child abuse case, the couple confessed that they had inflicted physical punishment on their niece with a plastic broomstick and repeatedly put her in and out of a bathtub filled with water as discipline for not being obedient and potty trained. The police immediately requested an arrest warrant to formally detain the couple both in their 40s for allegedly abusing their niece to death. And two days later, on February 10th, the mummified remains of a three-year-old girl was found in an empty house in Kumi, North Gyeongsang Province. When the girl's body was discovered by her grandmother, it was already decomposed after being left abandoned for months. The mother, who was arrested on suspicion of murder, reportedly testified that she didn't want to see her daughter because she was a child with her ex-husband, and so she just took off, leaving her toddler to starve and eventually die alone in an empty house six months ago. She has now remarried and even as a child with her current husband, but pretended as if she were still living with their daughter, collecting child care subsidies from the government. The police is to expand investigation to find the exact cause of the toddler's death and whether there were any signs of abuse. According to Ministry of Health and Welfare, the number of child deaths in Korea due to child abuse has been increasing over the past years from 14 in 2014 to 42 in 2019. In fact, reports filed over the past two weeks nearly doubled from last year after the horrific death of Changin raised public awareness about child abuse. To stop the recurrence, experts say it is necessary to toughen the adoption process and re-establish ways to discipline a child. Also, there has been an uptick in calls to find a practical solution that can fundamentally solve the issue and fill in the blind spots that cannot be filled by legislation alone. Child abuse is no longer a family problem, but a crime that needs to be stopped.